Hello, YouTube. Our favorite armpit lady is right around the corner to tie up your heart and your wallet into her gorgeous personality. Nice. In this video, we will be going through the burning question everyone has in their mind. Which weapon should you go for if you are pulling for our dear, beautiful personality? I, I mean, Yelan. I will be trying my best to cover up almost all of our weapon choices, starting from best in slot, aqua simulacra, to some event exclusive weapons and also some 3 star oddballs. So stay tuned. And after I obtain all the data from my testing, I will be putting them up in an excel sheet, making some calculations and adjustments so we can have an easier way to compare all the data and make our decisions. I will be comparing all the damage output on the basis of 3 fronts, her breakthrough barbs, her elemental skill, and the exquisite arrow throws from her elemental burst. A note to keep in mind is that my Yalan is C6, so the damage numbers from my Yalan in this video will be definitely higher than what your Yalan can possibly do with the same level of investment. So what we're looking for over here is not exactly the damage numbers itself, but the ratio in which they fare against different scenarios. I hope you keep that in mind and enjoy the rest of the video. First, we have Aqua Simulacra, Yalan's best in slow weapon, providing a lot of crit damage but lacking in the field of energy recharge. By the way, if you're enjoying the video, please consider subscribing, it really helps me out a lot and you can always change your mind in the future. The next set of weapons we have are Thundering Pulse and First Great Magic. These weapons are Yoimiya's best and slow weapon and Lini's best and slow weapon, providing about 66.6% crit damage, but they don't exactly provide any sort of HP or energy recharge, so you will have to keep that in mind while building around these weapons. Next we have is Abo's bow. I really do not recommend this weapon because it's just not a great choice for Yelan. It provides shadow attack damage bonus which Yelan doesn't require. Honestly speaking, please use any other weapon. It's probably better. Next we have Elegy for the end. One of the best support weapons available for Yelan which doesn't exactly buff her but rather buffs her entire team's damage output when used in an elemental reaction team. A great choice, if you have it, you can always use this. Okay, Skyward Harp, a great sub DPS weapons, provide both crit rate and crit damage, thus allowing you to run an energy recharge sans while having more HP substats. Overall, a great quality weapon to balance out your crits and your energy recharge requirements for a sub DPS build. Okay, so next we have is the Black Leaf Bow. Honestly speaking, don't use this. The passive doesn't work, provides attack when you defeat enemies. To be honest, there are better 3 star options. So, Stringless. One of the best 4 star sub DPS bows available. The passive provides you 48% more skill damage and burst damage at refinement level 5, which is very easy to achieve. Sacrificial Bow, also known as we have Yalan C1 at home, gives you 2 skill cast and pretty much it, gives you a little bit of energy recharge, overall a decent choice but there are better options of course. Um, moon's Moon or Moon's Moon, however you want to call it. Now this is a little bit of a gacha weapon. Provides you burst damage bonus on the basis of how much elemental energy you have on your entire team. Fading Twilight. This was one of Yelan's event exclusive weapons that was released during the release of a Chasm event. Now if you already missed it, there are 4 star options that are similar in damage, but if you have it, you can always use this. The damage for burst keeps ramping up, so you end up getting more damage the more your Yelan stays off field. The next weapon needs no introduction, but only needs a word. Fabge. The name says it all. You know Favonius, you have seen Favonius, we know it, we love it, if you have it, use it, no one's gonna stop you. Great choice. Now we move on to the 3 star weapon oddballs. Now 
First, we have Slingshot, a great choice. Provides a ton of crit rate with no high base attack, which you really do not need on your Yelan. And overall speaking, it's just a great option. And then following the footsteps of Slingshot, we have Recurve Bow with about 42% HP substat as a weapon. It's a great choice. Allows you to run an energy recharge sands to fulfill your energy recharge requirements. And overall, I'm gonna take this weapon as the base damage output to compare the numbers. All right, so that was all the testing that I had to do. I had a ton of fun testing out different weapons with Yelan. And finally, here's the Excel sheet that I promised to everyone. Now, as you can see, I have listed down all the weapons, their rarities, their crit ratios, how much HP I had in each of the builds, how much energy recharge I have had, and then comparing the damage numbers with Breakthrough Barb, Skill, and Exquisite Arrow Throws of Burst. Starting off, taking Recurve Bow as the baseline, as we can clearly see Aqua Simulacra, which is her signature weapon, outperforms Recurve Bow in every single aspect. Okay, so now let's cover the 3 star bows. Let's say for example you're just starting out and you really like your lance boo I mean uh, personality, and you don't have any of the other options, then the recurve bow R5 or slingshot R5 are great options. Chances are, if you're starting out, you don't have a lot of area explored, and so you can get recurve bow to r5 by exploring but for some reason if you have everything explored then slingshot r5 is really 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 a solid option also a fun fact if you're summoning for your land chances are you already have a r5 slingshot lying around in your inventory this weapon will never give you up never let you down never run around and desert you i'm sorry i had to do that okay please forgive me <laughs> So now let's say you don't really want to use the three star option. So what four star options can you run for? Stringless R5 is an overall great pick. Provides you a ton of elemental skill damage and burst damage, which overall does more damage than the Recov R5. So yeah, but for some reason, let's say you are having trouble keeping your burst up time, then Favonius is overall a great option for Yelan and also for your entire team. Favonius weapons create white energy particles whenever you land a crit on your characters. So overall speaking, great choice. Moving on to the 5 star options. Personally speaking, if you do not have the Aqua Simulacra, then Skyward Harp or Elegy for the End are probably your best picks. Now Skyward Harp provides you a ton of crit value, therefore you can easily go for an energy recharge sands, therefore you're gonna have a very easy time balancing out your crits and your ER requirements. Elegy for the End on the other hand is quite the opposite. Elegy for the end provides you a ton of energy recharge, therefore you have a fun time balancing out your crit requirements. Now, Elegy for the end is also a great support weapon because it can buff your entire steam damage output providing attack and elemental mastery buffs for elemental reactions in an elemental team comp. Alright, so that's all I have to say about all the possible weapon options that Yelan can possibly run. Now. Overall speaking, Yelan is a very free-to-play friendly character, as you can see from the chart. There are a lot of options, not only 3 stars, but 4 stars are really viable on her. And none of these weapons really require you to spend a ton of money to get the weapons. Unless and until you're going for C6 Yelan, just like I did, well, that's a whole another story. So yeah, let me know in the comments below which weapon are you gonna be running on her. And uh, are you gonna get Yelan or are you gonna skip her? Please let me know down in the below. Also, I stream most nights on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Trigner. So if you want to check me out, I'm currently organizing a Genshin RNG tournament. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Peace.